And now, the weather. Good evening, my name is Carson Bankhead and thank you for tuning in to your Grady News Source weather on this President's Day. Let's go ahead and take a look at our weather headlines in Northeast Georgia for this week. We see a humidity increase and these temperatures are reaching well above what the seasonal norm is for this time of year. As well as the humidity increase, we're seeing mostly cloudy skies, which is bringing in that warmth and that moisture, which is, which is contributing to that humidity increase, as well as a high chance of rain. I know that we saw spotted drizzles throughout today and that there's still that 20% of precipitation throughout the day, but that precipitation percentage is still gonna continue, unfortunately, throughout the week. Now taking a look at our evening forecast, partly cloudy skies are gonna be leading into cloudier skies late tonight at 6 p.m. in the middle of the day, we see that 66, leading into 9 p.m. at 63, and then cooling off towards midnight for 62. So pretty moderate temperatures throughout, throughout the evening. As for the daytime forecast for tomorrow, 9 a.m., we're gonna start off with some showers and with 60 degrees, leading into noon at 71 and warming up at 3 p.m. being 76 degrees. And again, that is because of the humidity and because of the clouds and just bringing in that moisture. As for our low temperatures throughout Georgia overnight, we see 55 degrees in Blairsville, Gainesville, and Greenville. In Atlanta and Athens, we see 58 degrees, and the high being 62 degrees in Augusta. As for high temperatures tomorrow, 76 in, 76 in Atlanta and in Athens, and the lowest being 68 in Blairsville. As for your five-day forecast over the weekend, as you can see, unfortunately, the weather is going to be very nice because of the warm, warm temperature, but it will be rainy, which is very unfortunate. So as I always say, make sure to grab an umbrella, bring a lightweight jacket for those lower temperatures that drop below 60 degrees. Carson Bankhead, Grady News Source.